Hello everybody out there, this is Utsav Singh from Smart Tech and today I'm going to show you how to create this ice material that we can very simply um, change all the values etc pretty simple nothing much in this you can change the color of course um, if you change the metallic you will notice that we I actually have added a simple white ice texture texture that I picked up from Google you can do that too okay just any ice image that you find on there okay then I have some minimum roughness value and I'm actually using a alpha mask to get where um, different roughness value at different places so I can pretty much change the whole look of this I actually like this one right here then I have the tiling for the base color that is the image down here and the tiling for the um, roughness right so let me just show you what we are going to create today let this open ignore this part we, and actually I tried to do a vertex paint um, it worked but for this video I'm only gonna show you guys how to do this but so I'll just explain what we are doing here the texture I had was very bright so I did a desaturation node to actually bring it into more of grayscale value okay then I multiplied it with the base color to get a different color then I just created a simple um, tiling and the main part is in the roughness and I will explain it as I do it so what you have to do is right click create a material and just pick up a texture from Google like let me just go here um, um, what if I do let's just say ice texture right image I picked up this one I think yes this exact one I picked okay then I have this size texture here just drag it in here and import it okay I already have it now I'll name something like eyes tutorial just press F2 to quickly rename simple trick right now in my eyes tutorial first thing I'm going to do is my base color so and just click on your texture and press um, to hold and press T to get a texture sample with this at its eyes now for the texture just drag out from the texture pane and search for parameter um, texture object parameter right and name it something like eyes texture simple now for the color remember this is very right if your texture is like a normal shade then you don't need to do this but I am doing it because my texture is very bright desaturation okay and from here I want the um, user friendliness to give it a different color um, in my material instance okay so I'm just going to multiply mm. I'm going to put the output into base color hold 3 left click to get a 3 vector that is in RGB color right click convert to parameter and just put this in here I don't know why it is lagging so much um, white base color let me call this base color right and let me just close my all this instance okay ah great um we can just look down here what is happening let's see if it is very um shader complexity yes it is very um efficient so is something with my pc i guess obvious studio is recording let me quit some stuff yes okay better I'm going to give it a color value of full white here now I have my base color now 
the main thing is my metallic and my roughness just create a scalar parameter by holding s left click and name it metallic no yes sorry metallic uh, what I meant to mean. I'm going to give it a value of 1 so it is complete reflective okay and now another next important part is our roughness so what first I'm going to hold L to create a loop this will blend between A you input these three values A, B and alpha it will take A as the base B as the value to be blended and it will do it based on my alpha okay alpha value so put this into my roughness A just create two um, let's say scalar parameters and put these in here now name this minimum roughness max underscore roughness yes and put this value to one which you can change later in your material instance now you will notice something that it is completely rough not reflecting because our alpha 0.5 is using is saying it, it will i think output the value of 0.5 here because the alpha is gray 0.5 half of both of those okay so what i want for alpha is first you you are going to need a gray scale image and that too with um like this is rgb you need only one here okay so that's where i'm gonna do some editing i'm gonna search for t make sure you have added star content that is important t pearl noise um where is it game starter content textures it is included in the starter content now from here if i do this in here error floor 3 could not be converted into float it needs only one value so r i will use actually what i'm going to do i is i want more um user friendliness in this so what i'm going to do is drag out search for component mask okay and this is going to be converted to a parameters which i can see in here roughness i can actually change this okay so this will edit the black and white places just a little bit because the r g and b um list the r g and b channels are grayscale and they make up an image so i'm going to name this mask channel simple um let's just say now uh, for texture of course you could go ahead parameter texture object parameter roughness mask okay cool okay so again t underscore pollen noise i'm pretty sure it is the first one come on yeah so now as you can see we have a basic roughness that is being affected as you can see in some places where the values are black it, there is zero reflection that is my minimum reference minimum roughness okay so i mean zero roughness not not zero reflection they are both different terms actually so what you want to do is now i want an overall control right so i'm going to multiply i always multiply to get um so this will be my roughness strength cool i'm gonna do one i want to keep this value in a range of zero to one so i'm going to do a uh, what clamp now there is another reason behind this i will explain it to you guys uh, a while later okay 
so just eyes cool simple stuff now for the UVs right just hold and I did commented it by pressing C okay from here uh, first I'm going to right click texture coordinates um, texture coordinate okay now it has U tiling 1 and V tiling 1 we can't see this in our material instance so what do we do um, component mask control W to duplicate okay and R means X that is my U U tiling okay so U tiling is this one and V tiling means Y and Y means G okay so G means green actually as you can see Y um, is denoted by color green okay now these both have values of 1 and 1 that is complete white so I'm going to multiply when I multiply them I can basically change those values so in this one if I multiply it by something like 20 then the X tiling will be 20 1 into 20 is 20 scalar um, what do we call it roughness X tiling okay one mm -hmm. Again, put this in here, duplicate it. Pretty simple stuff, right? Roughness Y tiling, and just right click append. And I'm actually planning to do a blender series soon enough, and just put this into the UV. So, what I did here, I break broke those values multiplied them with uh, another value and using the append node I put them together again using the u tiling and I put them together in the format of u and v so this is my u a will serve as my u tiling and v will serve my, as my v tiling or x and y tiling again tiling just duplicate all this Control W. Um, put this in here. UVs, roughness, not this time roughness, base color X tiling. Base color Y tiling. Done. And our material is done. And I have to explain the clamp and I will do it right now so it basically um, says that whatever value it gets it will put it in between the minimum and max value so and minimum is 0 and max is 1 I'm gonna keep it at the defaults because that is needed right now okay so I uh, this right click create material instance and put this on my plane that I have and it is looking pretty awesome right now and I, as you can see in these places I have my reflection otherwise it is frozen cool so what does that clamp actually do now oh, sorry um, I will just drag it up here cool now what do I have here it was called um, roughness strength so if I increase it above one when it tries to compensate it will have to change the black values which are being you know even which are being get which are getting brighter it has to put them in a value between zero and one right and to do that it will have to spread out to compensate that's basically how I term it I don't know the exact methodology hopefully I will find it someday now at this if I change my minimum roughness increase it a bit and in my max roughness I decrease it okay so minimum roughness and max roughness 
to get very different results right now my tiling will also give me awesome results see base color is well base color it is i can change i can affect that color right here this is pretty looking pretty good but i think i will go with this color and my metallic that is if it is metallic in nature what do i say to that zero and my base color is affecting it as you can see and a value of one i will be using the value of one here cool to get a reflective surface and my base color tiling will tile my crack texture underneath it to get some like five and five let's see if you have a non tiling texture it will look way better and well hope um just set it to one and one these are pretty good settings save all now i'll just show you what i tried in my earlier ones in this one i just played with this one a little change the colors change the texture and use my vertex color matte layer blend standard and as you can see i am using actually use material attributes so it has only one material attribute input here okay so what is happening is base material that is being alpha is red so when i paint the red color on a plane it will paint this crack texture on top of that just basic stuff being repeated again and again so you guys here you go guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned bye bye